What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Family, the beefs are going on in these internet streets. We have one person to blame for it, and that is Brother Shannon Sharp of Club Shay Shay. And as it appears, you know, he, he wants to get his you know, celebrity junk stuff off too, which I'll be talking about in a minute. But he had Monique that came on. Um, and you're starting to see people on the show that um, are very polarizing, like Cat Williams, Monique. People have a lot to say. And these interviews are really going after certain folk, all right? Um, usually other comedians or actors, and things like that, things that we just didn't know. So Monique has taken up some level of umbrage with people in the past, like her and Dio Hughley had a contract dispute. We know that she was supposed to appear on the comedy tour or something like that. And when that occurred, it was a big fallout. Now, what has happened now is she has come out and said some pretty damaging things about him. We'll play the clip and then we'll come back. His actions showed me that he was the leader of that household. Without him saying it, I knew I was dealing with a king. And he doesn't have to constantly remind you of it. He, he never. He's never. When we first got together, I sat at the head of that table. Comfortably. There was never a conversation about it. Till one day I knew I was in the wrong place. Wow. And I moved to the side of the table. And he sat at the head. We never had a conversation about it. It just happened because it was supposed to. So when people question my husband and why is he there, you would hope you would have one like that. I remember our beautiful sister Tiffany Haddish mm -hmm. did an interview with GQ magazine. And this, in my humble opinion, is where we keep throwing each other under the bus. Mm -hmm. You're doing an interview with GQ magazine. And I, I'm assuming... The journalist was a white person. Mm -hmm. And the conversation turned to Monique. And she said, well, I don't do business like Monique do business, and I'm glad I don't have that husband of hers. But she don't know your husband. And when I saw that, it's like, Tiffany, if you had a husband like mine, you may not have two DUIs. Mm. If you had a husband like mine, you may not be caught up in what looks like you could have been grooming a child. Mm -hmm. And I say all of that with no judgment. But when you speak about having a husband like mine, you open up the door. And I'm saying to you, if you had one like mine, you may not sit in these positions that you can't explain the next day. Right. Or it's a hard way to go. So once again. Well, she doesn't even have a husband let alone like yours. Well, well, damn it now. You said it. I sipped on that, Shannon. That was a sip. That required a sip. Now, D.O. Hughley has responded in kind to this. I would like to play the clip of him getting his get back, and then we're going to come back. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um... So Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off, she called me. Monique did, and she said I was very dismissive, like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints, I listened to her, and I pulled the segment. So if I had as been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people. Then she encouraged everybody. Uh, allegedly, it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video. And she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. 
Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a liar. She's lying about that. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even bought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was and Monique bought that shit out and, t- and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be in front of me. The lying m- She knows she was lying. And it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family, videos with her children or grandchildren because nobody f- with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't f- you? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real except your daddy who you apparently have to pay? And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies, not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the wor- worst reviews of any Netflix special in history because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people, except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she go, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it that nobody fucks with you? Not even your family. How do you? Well, I was on the road getting it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. Because all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. There's a- so let me just say this. Um, you know, Monique seems to be a person that has a hard time getting along. Her husband is Sydney, and he, he was taking some shots at uh, at the husband, basically saying that she's paying him to be around and he's not a real man. And I, I obviously believe that at a certain point, she had the ability if i'm not mistaken she had it fixed in her marriage where um he could not only she could sleep around with other people so that was something that was going on um she could have you know threesomes and stuff like that and um hey he could not right but he he talks about how hateful she is how she doesn't have any friends or family none of them she doesn't have real supporters she always is hateful i mean i don't want to go there but let me just take it there man don't we all know some folk like this grandma mama sister there's always somebody like in the black community we know people like this i got a grandmother that's like this okay hell ray zer i mean if she busts hell wide open the satan will run That is how much of a hellraiser she is. I'm talking about, I've never seen somebody like this before in my life. Just can be hateful for no damn reason. Whatever you take this mother, I mean, always got a problem, okay? Won't tell you if she dead or alive, but yes, I've seen it. And then these people tend to always have, you know, fundamental issues and problems with everybody else. Not to say that, you know, people are not problematic in the world because they are. But you'll always notice that they're with men that they can run, okay? I'll tell you somebody I feel that's like that is Tasha K. Tasha K and Monique, what he's saying about that, I, you can you can see. That lady has a, a, a husband that she's running in Monique. And Tasha K's husband is very similar. He don't say nothing, okay? She's always into it with everybody. Hateful. That's, that's neck and neck, ain't it? always in a destructive mentality towards somebody and i'm gonna tell you like this brothers if you get you one of these hell raisers in your life boy you better do the right thing and get away from them i have seen black men die i have seen black men have a lower lower quality of life dealing with such individuals it's not worth it get away from them before they destroy everything you got because they're gonna do that well guys we think it's your boy Shady jackson back at it again 
episode of the Slippery Jump. Reach for all you do, the bell. We're out. Thank you.